road map or career road map, probably there is no other better place than India at this moment and there are a couple of reasons for it. Uh, firstly, you know India there is almost 200 million people moving up from the poverty line into basically let us say middle class, lower middle class. But as soon as you move up the poverty line, your consumption needs are going to increase. And as the consumption needs increase, different companies have, the, have to come together to actually provide for those necessities and services. While those services have to be there, the logistics is the only thing that will help bring that services or products for fulfillment to them. So that means logistics is just going to grow and leap bound. The government has put in the second thing is a whole amount of infrastructure right now. Uh, when you look at the road projects, uh, Sagar Mala, Bharat Mala, all these initiatives, nobody has ever has done these kind of things in any government ever before. So government is coming with it. You look at the industries, which is all big business houses, be the Walmarts, the Ikeas, whoever it is, they are all looking at India as the next town. As DHL, for example, just has also expanded there and they are all busy expanding it. So this is really supporting the whole ecosystem. That means the number of opportunities and the number of uh, business growth that will happen or enabled with this will definitely increase. But then what is next thing is this is probably the most underinvested sector in terms of technology and people. Now with all these guys coming in compared to the European and American world there is a need for professional people. You need engineers who can go and build out a lot of supply chain logistic solutions. Uh, you, you need technology innovations from IoT, artificial intelligence, everything happening. And if you look at, nobody has actually done much. It's a pretty much the same truckers driving back and forth. Nothing much has been done. So when you start from ground zero, the only way to go is up. And, and this is where if professionals come in, they can actually make a lot of sense out of this unorganized thing into an organized sector. And as it comes more organized, people like DHL and other players keep on coming in, the need for talent that is we have, uh, management talent or talent at actually every level will be needed. And people having specialization in supply chain, logistics, understanding is going to be very key for them to succeed in their business. And lastly, I will say just as an example, think of any large chain, whether it is the future group or uh, Apple or uh, uh, look at Amazon or Flipkart, their whole success depends on how their supply chain or logistics work. If they are not able to serve in time, every time, with reliability, they all business models will collapse. Uh, whether it is a Swiggy or delivery or whoever you are talking about, all these business models have been built around the logistics uh, backend and we, you know excel in that. So I think th I would say it's a huge opportunity. It's a perfect time to go in and I don't see next 10, 20 years anything going coming down. Other sectors can possibly come down. Logistic is something no matter what happens to anything, it will only keep on growing.